You wouldn't have to sit there and Oh, uh, you want a brick? <laughs> hey, you want a brick? Here you go. <laughs> this is <laughs> I'm gonna start collect- I'm gonna start before I like sell shit. I'm gonna sit there and just collect a shit ton of valuables and just sell them. I probably will do the same. I remember in uh... Dying Light 1 I had a shit ton of... Yeah, you- I don't know why you have so, such a hard time blocking. I'm doing pretty well blocking. Oh, Trey, also, uh, do you know they have, like, a gear system, um, system for, like... Yeah, I see that. That's classes and shit, too. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Which is... What do you think about that? I guess it's kind of cool. It's weird, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what, like, class that I'll sit there and choose. It's pro I'm probably gonna be more of a tank class or some shit, I don't know. It's like, I'm usually a tank class in any form of game that I can choose. Like I said, this game is kind of weird. There's some things that they try to implement that I don't know if I'm a big fan of yet. Oh yeah, my god. it's kind of weird, but it's still pretty good. I'm not really, like, astounded. I'm not really kind of big on the graphics. They kind of look the same. They're not necessarily any, like, newer. Some of the cutscene poses look the same as well, if you look at carefully. Yeah. I'm surprised there hasn't been as many uh, mentions of Crane yet, either. You would think he'd be a huge name everyone would basically know. But shit, even the main character doesn't even know who apparently Kyle Crane is. <laughs> you know, the dude oh, who yeah. basically saved her on from a fucking bombing. I know Sp I know. Uh, Spike talked about it like yeah, probably once. Yeah, like once. It. And it was like a second. Oh, I wish Crane was here to see this. Huh? Who's that? <laughs> of course. I have no... Oh my god, I have no medkits. Which one like should I use? Fucking crafting system too sometimes. I, I gotta go find the fucking weapon yet. Oh. So Nobody has a ranged weapon use a yet. Medic cap or do I don't use... do even wanna know use when you get the fucking bow and arrow. The... <laughs> what I wanna know. Oh. I don't know. This one's good for like stealthing and parkour XP, and the medic cap will like help me regenerate faster. Parkour um, attacks damage increased by a little bit. And searching the zombies are kind of useless now because you can't find hardly nothing on them. You have to like kill infected or something like that. I know, that's what I'm saying. There's like n nothing on them. Now the only way to really get any of this shit is by finding, by finding these fucking things. Still cannot stand this fucking stamina bullshit. It's so fucking retarded. You know, like it drains out so easily. Is that a spear right there? Grab it. Hey, don't don't pay attention. To me. There you go. Got that spear back. Uh, I guess I can't. Really. That works too. Kind of wish you could still, uh, you know, fast travel a little bit. I know, but sometimes this shit's very fucking annoying. Do I have enough stamina to climb that? Only, only one way to find out. <laughs> no, I don't! That's stupid. The binoculars in this game are pretty cool. 
A little bit. They're kind of weird, but yeah. Again, they're one of those other things you'll have to get kind of used to. I wish there was like. Kind of what I'm getting from. I think we are. I think I know one of the guy had like an Irish accent. I think. The and then I'm pretty sure. Okay, so w then where did uh dying light one kind of take place in? And the music is. I mean, it's cool, but it, it kind of doesn't match the game and the atmosphere. In my opinion. Fighting music's pretty cool. Yeah. It's more of a Doom type vibe, to be honest. Maybe not Doom 2016, but like Doom Eternal. No, Doom Eternal is fucking heavy. No, I think 2016 music's better. I can't do a shit ton of these side missions, but I'm kind of scared to do some of these at night ones. Because if it's anything like the uh, Dying Light 1 night shit. <laughs> Call that, dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you try to go at night, just be careful. Because, uh, you mainly just want to stay on the rooftops, to be honest. Yeah. You know, I have a theory. I have a theory that Aiden, I don't know why I thought about this. I have a theory, though, that Aiden is, uh, Kyle Crane's son. And me is, like, his daughter or some shit. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I, like, just. Big brained it or something, but what I, I don't you know. Just said makes you think of like some type of game theory type of shit. Well, I mean, it, you can see it though. Kyle Crane was a god at parkour, and so is Aiden. So I mean, there's a possibility. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's the weirdest theory I ever heard. Not a bad one. I'm just saying weird. Be cool though. And I wish whenever you cleared an area of the loot and shit that you can get there, it would fucking disappear or say cleared or something. And then you can actually make some choices too, which is also even cooler. I wonder if this game has multiple different endings then. I'm pretty sure they do. Okay. <laughs> Found a artifact weapon which is legendary and does like 20 Pretty sure all artifact weapons are legendary. Also, Aiden kind of sounds like Crane, too. Yeah, I know. That's why I think he's also his son. Your theory is like the game theory thing where, uh, game theory guy was talking about Gregory or something like that, saying, like, how he looks like the kid I got from the bite of 87 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, just some weird shit. Actually, that couldn't even be possible. Because this game, this game, what, takes, like, maybe five years, a couple of years after the Huron outbreak, doesn't... Anyhow, I'm more kind of worried of thinking, like, what happened to, uh, to Crane? Why is he not in this game? Why do we not play him? Because he, because he died in both endings. In the following. Oh, he does. In the following? Yes. Yes. You just well, stole the following he, from me, then. Well, technically, uh, he didn't die um, the second time. He technically got infected. He became a volatile. 
The first time he died was himself to do. So of course he had to sleep dead there. And then if he picked like the other choice, which got him infected, he's probably a volatile. Let me think, cause that's weird. I thought he was in- oh wait, no. That's Dead Island, where the main character was immune. So, they made a cure for the Haran virus, basically. And then, the Jari still experimented it with weapons, so with fucking for military use. Oh, my head hurts. Because here's the thing. That, uh, cure in the following wasn't a, uh, wasn't really a good cure. All it did was infect people instead. Wait, so what's the canon ending for it then? The one where he sets off a nuke or the one where he turns into a volatile? I'm pretty sure the volatile. Whoa, that's trippy. Because you know in the um, Be the Zombie, because apparently the Be the Zombie mode, he's, yeah. he's also the volatile as well. What if the volatile that infects Aiden was uh, Crane? You know how weird that would be? That would actually be trippy as shit. That would be trippy. But what happens if you somehow s Oh, dude, I'm... I'm invested now. <laughs> I'm invested. <laughs> Damn, these two-handed weapons are OP as fuck. Oh, yeah, they seem better. I love I them. Why. They seem like they... Yeah, the blunt weapons are also kind of good too now. Oh, I have to go in here at night. Wait, do I have? <laughs> do I have to? Oh, yeah, well, I've also realized too to be able to like uh, <laughs> certain buildings you don't have to go. It's just all the affected that are there, which you know. <laughs> I know, but this one said like, um, night, um, run house or some shit like that. I know in all buildings you, um, I know in all the other buildings you can, but the ones that actually have like really good loot actually does. Have like a, um, yeesh, what happened down here? Oh, oh, that's chemical. Yep, uh, no, self, don't touch that. Fuck it, I'll help you. I mean... Where are you at, this, at in the story without, you know, ex you know, spoiling the whole fucking... Without spoiling anything for me. I'm at- I'm basically just at the part where I can play multiplayer now, so basically the hospital. Damn! Way. You're that behind? Yeah, I haven't really done that much. I've just been like trying to do like side missions to level up. Damn. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, I'm more focused on like trying to level up first before I keep going. Mainly oh, yeah. by combating and uh Oh yeah. Which is the only two fucking What's that? Things <laughs> that you can really upgrade for skills, which is kind of retarded. Again. Going to sleep, do 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 do. Going to sleep, do do. I'm gonna do all these fucking normal shit first, and then I'll do all this night bullshit. Because <laughs> if I do all this morning shit, I can just move on to instead all that night stuff. I has fallen, and your immunity will go down. Oh, that also makes me mad. The immunity BS. Oh god, that infuriates me. I hate that. <laughs> It's a challenge, and I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's a challenge, yeah, I like that, but for people who are trying to play the game casually, I wish they had, like, a game mode, maybe, or, like, a setting, or something. 
where you don't have to deal with that. Kind of like, you know how in survival mode for like Fallout 4 and, you know, Skyrim and shit? I wish they had it kind of like that, where it was a second they could turn on or off. Hey, come here! Hey, where are Everything else I'm fine with. I just don't like the immunity stuff, because it makes me feel rushed, and I can't stand that in the game. You can also collect, like, um, inhalers. Or boosters, I guess. Like, yeah. Restore. You need to find those damn shrooms. That too, and also if you help survivors, they'll give you those inhalers. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate fighting humans in this game, bro. So fucking I'm annoying. Fine. I find them annoying, like I said, the dodging shit. If you have problems dodging them, you have to get that one perk or something. Perfect dodge or something like that. Or blocking. It's it's the fucking blocking. Everything else I'm fine with, but the blocking is weird. I think blocking has to do with certain weapons as well. It's weird, I guess. Because I remember having a fast weapon, I think I blocked pretty fast with them. It's gonna be annoying for tank builds. <laughs> I mean granted it's gonna be blocking very much for your tank build, but still all the same. The opportunity weapon, they're kind of cool, like like the spears and stuff. But I kind of wish, uh, whenever it came down to the spears, oh, yeah. you can kind of like craft them and hold them like as throwing weapons. Yeah, I thought I wish you could just like use them as an actual weapon, like keep them on you. Yeah, I mean I don't really care for that. Like, like said, actually use it as a melee weapon. Huh? I kind of. I wish you could like if you threw them, you could pin like multiple enemies or some shit. That would be amazing, and you can pin them for a little bit. Obviously not forever, because, you know, that just make it kind of stupid, but... It's like, pin them for a couple it, of seconds. It takes a lot of their health away, though. Oh god, yeah. I didn't clutch when I was fighting one of those big dudes once. What big dudes? Oh, I haven't gotten that far, never mind. Yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to, like... Level up. Level up and stuff. More focusing on... Aspect. Or I actually. Stealth is gonna be weird for this game. Whole nother thing I've got to get used to also. Oh my god, that's also annoying. There's one time I was fighting over seven fucking years. I was annoyed. I'm so pissed. Hell no, you're not. Get out here. It sounds like shit to me, and I don't want to get some of this. Oh crap, we used the big weapon. Whoops. I always use your worst weapons on this here on the boss left. I know. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, you just got decapitated. I'm gonna brown. What? I'm shipsy! You know how you, when you're like, you know how you like play like Wii games, your game crashes and makes that weird.